If I see this, right, and a sum is like S equals this, and this is P, what do you think P stands for? It's, it's a product, right? You're, you're multiplying things together rather than adding them together. So this, being that it follows exactly the same format as this, uh, is equal to not 13 plus, but 13 times. Is it like factorial-ish? Kinda. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's very easy to write factorial notation using this, not that you'd have to, but for instance, how do I write something like, um, like 6 factorial? <laughs> I would say, okay, firstly, it's a product, right? Where would you like to start? Let's, let's go, ha, ah, now, be careful, right? Built into both sigma and pi, it's terrible because it gets used for everything, but anyway, sigma notation and that notation, right, is that you start from here and you go up to here. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, we will get to what happens if you're like, well, what if I don't want to? What if I want to start at 4 and end at 2? Well, believe me, we'll get there. Okay, but for now, rather than get your wires crossed, we start at a number and we increment up to get to the next one. Okay? Or to get to the last one. Is there any point in saying k equals 1? Is there any point to it? Yeah, because it doesn't do anything. Well, if you start from well, well, it tells you where to start. What, what it does help me with is if I start. want six terms, then I can know I'm going to start at one and end at six, right? Rather than like think of some arbitrary thing where it's like, I don't know where I'm going to end. I might as well have a first term be the one term, okay? Now, careful with this, right? Because you know what six factorial is equal to, right? It's six by five by four by Three by two by one. Okay, you can count. Okay. <laughs> now, I could write this in reverse order. I could, right? But let's try writing it in the right order. Right? Let's try and write it so that it'll come out like this, rather than this. Even though this would probably be easier, right? If I wanted to go down, how's this going to work? Mm. Negative. So let's think about this. Let's think about this, right? Just like, just like in this case, and in 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 this case, right? These numbers form an AP, right? They form an AP. Six five four three two one. One two three four five six also forms an AP, but it's a different AP, right? Because did we not establish last week that order really freaking matters, right? Okay, so it's the same numbers, but order is different. What's the common difference for the one two three four five six? One. Plus one. It's plus one, isn't it? What's the common difference for the one we want? Minus one. It's minus one. Okay. So therefore, come on, is, are the wheels turning yet? Um, if this makes me increment up by seven every time, and this makes me increment up by two every time, I want to increment up by a negative number. Maybe seven minus k. Okay. Minus n. Okay. Minus n. Okay. Does it work? Yes. Does it work? It's okay. I forgive you. It's a dummy variable, so it doesn't matter anyway. Though you're going to have some trouble if this and this don't. Well, we'll talk about it later. Um, now, will it work? K yes. equals 1. K equals. Will give me 7 minus 1, which is 6. And then K equals 2 will give me 7 minus 2, which is 5. Thumbs up. It works. Okay.